that was a pretty bittersweet ending to the Falcon season. I guess I can focus more on basketball now. Welcome back to Brave Birds DFS, one of the best places for PGA, NFL, MLB, and NBA news, and of course DFS. If you don't know by now, I'm Walt. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. All right, so NFL season's over for a lot of us, so now I can focus on NBA DFS and the Atlanta Hawks because I'm sure that story will end so much better than the Falcon story. All right. So if this is your first time tuning into my channel, I like to put all the players into one of five tiers. You can see on the screen, I have the super studs. Those are the players that are over 10,000. I have the studs. Those are players 8,000 to 10,000. Then I have the mid range. Those are the players 6,000 to 8,000. I follow that up with the, the value players. Those are players 4,000 to 6,000. And then I have the super value players. Those are the players that are under 4,000. Now that I have all the players into those tiers, I want to pick out two players from each of those tiers that I believe can help you have the best probability to win that guap. So to do that, the first thing I do is look at how the players have been playing the past seven to 10 days. I actually like to look at a lot of games because a lot of times the stats can lie. But I also want to look at how they're doing in real life. I want to look at, you know, fantasy stats because I want to have those players that have been playing consistently well so they can have the best probability of having a good night when you put them into your lineup. The next thing I do, I look at is minutes and I go beyond just the raw minutes. I want to see what kind of minutes are they getting? Are they getting minutes because somebody is injured? Are they getting minutes because of rest? Are they getting minutes because of overtime? Are the minutes coming because of a blowout? So I want to look at those minutes because I want a player that has consistent minutes because if you're not on the court you can't get those fantasy stats the next thing i look at is variance and variance is so important because this isn't a week-long thing this is daily fantasy sports so we need this person to do well today so having a player that has an extremely high ceiling you know maybe they'll get 70 points but also a low floor the next day they'll get 30 points that really doesn't help you because that just adds more risk to your pick the next thing I do is look at is matchups. So for example, today you have OKC, who is the fourth best offense going up against the Wizards, who are the worst defense. And then Boston, you have two really good offenses. The Pacers are the number one offense, but the Pacers are also the second worst defense. And then Boston is a top five offense. And then the next game you have the Hornets and the Hornets are the sixth worst defense. And then we can move on to Utah versus Milwaukee. So the Bucks, they are the second best offense, but they're also the seventh worst defense and the Jazz are also the eighth worst defense. So I like to look at those matchups. Who has a good matchup on paper? Who's who plays on the team that has a lot of pace? You know, who plays against teams that have a lot of pace because pace determines how many possessions you're going to have in the game. And the more possessions a team has, the more chance they have for rebounds, you know, points and all of those fantasy stats. Stats. And then the final thing I look at are injury and rest. I do record this kind of early in the day. So that's why I always tell you all to make sure you're available when the contest lock, which today is seven o'clock Eastern. So sometime between six and seven, come back and make sure that there aren't any new injuries or rest. All right. So let's start with the super studs and the first super stud is Giannis. So Giannis is going up against the Jazz and I already mentioned the Jazz are a bottom 10 uh, defense. So at 11,700, we need Giannis to get about 57 points. And he's done that in at least five straight games. And he's really been on a heater later. Lately, he's been getting a lot of minutes and he's been doing a lot with those minutes. So considering the offense and considering how he's been playing, plus you don't have any Dame tonight. So yes, Dame, they both play different positions, but some of those shots that Dame uh, was going to make other players on the Bucks are going to make and it's going to open up some more value that we'll talk about later. All right. So next you have Shea Gilders Alexander. So he's playing those dead last from a defensive perspective, Washington Wizards at 10,400. We need him to get about 51 fantasy points, and he's done that in four out of the last five games. I like the consistent uh, minutes. Uh, he has gotten into some foul trouble recently, but he hasn't fouled out, so hopefully that doesn't pop up. But once again, this matchup is just too juicy to pass up. 
let's move on to the super studs and we have bam and so we can look at bam and we can see that at 8800 we need him to get about 44 fantasy points and he's done that in three out of the last five games but i love the minutes i mean at least 36 minutes in each of the last five games and his floor which is a quote-unquote bad game from him is 36 points so if he has a 36 point floor game which we don't want that's not going to torpedo your lineup and then i have miles bridges he's been playing well lately i love the minutes you can see that uh outside of the game against the the uh, clippers sorry the lakers excuse me the lakers he's had at least 36 minutes at 8,000. we need him to get uh, 40 fantasy points and he's only done that in two out of the last five games but he's done it in two out of the last three games all right so let's move back to that matchup once again we like to attack matchups and so we like to attack the washington wizards so you have hungren uh at 7700 we need him to get about 37 fantasy points and he's done that in three out of the last five games Oklahoma can be kind of crazy with their rotations, uh, but I do like the fact that outside of that game against Atlanta, which was crazy, he only got 16 points. He's gotten at least 32 points. So because of that and because of this matchup, I like Holmgren. All right, so staying with the matchup, we have Josh Giddy. So at 6,300, we need him to get about 33 points, and he's done that in three out of the last five games. He is in the second unit now, but he's someone that's def definitely actually taking advantage of being in the second unit and getting more usage. All right, so moving back to the Hornets game, and so we have Richard. So at 5,700, we need him to get about 27 points, and he's roughly done that in three out of the last five games. His minutes are pretty consistent he stays in the band of roughly about 25 to 30 minutes a game all right so kevin love i mean this guy is crazy he is one of those guys that easily averages well over a fantasy point per minute he has been on a heater lately at 5400 we need him to get about 26 or 27 points and he's done that in three straight games in three out of the last five games so assuming that his minutes just continue to be in that 20 to, you know, 25, maybe a little bit more point range. And as and, and long as he continues to get over a fantasy point per minute, I have no concerns about putting Kevin Love into your lineups. And then these next two, these these super value picks, they opened up just because Damian Lillard is out. You have more, more uh, Marjan Bochamp at 3,700. We need him to get about 18 fantasy points, even though he's only done that in one out of the last five games. He is going to be on the floor more than normal because Dame is out. And definitely at this point, the super value player of the day is Andre Jackson. Um, I mean, just ignore what you see on the screen as far as what he's done previously. If he's not starting the day, he's definitely going to get more minutes. All right, so you can see on the screen my recap of the super studs, the studs, the mid-range, the value, and the super value. If you have any specific questions, please leave a comment, but otherwise, go out there and win that guap. I hope this video helped you with your lineups. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell, and I'll talk to you next time.